Greetings! This is so pretty and yes, I am very excited for today's video because it is something that I haven't seen much on YouTube about like about this topic and yes, I am talking about the disconnected eyeliner trend. Yes, this is what I am going to do today. I hope you all will like it. So I'll try to speak less in this video. Also, 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 I know this lip marking is not suiting me at all I guess. And I don't know why I decided in the first place to go with this bit party for me in this video, but now that I have you with me, I will be telling you some ways that are really, really easy to do and very wearable. These are not the way we apply them usually. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm just taking this uh, Kajal Ki Dibbi and my eyeliner when I am applying it like in the basic and usual manner we do I'm just applying it on the upper eyelid like so and then after this I am soon going to be taking some more kajal yes I am so I'm taking some more kajal and applying it on my waterline yes and I hope you are able to make out what I'm doing and here comes my brother disturbing me <laughs> so after that what I'm going to do is I'm just flicking both of these kajal lines out but at a distance and this is how you'll get the disconnected eyeliner number one look but I have told you earlier I'm re repeating the same process on my other eye as well so doing that putting the kajal on my upper lid and the lower eyelid flicking them out and this is how it looks finally Taking this eyeliner wand and the kajal wali dipi again, and then I'm taking it out, picking some color on my, lid. and then I'm just applying a very, very, very thin line. You have to be very careful while doing this. You have to apply a very thin line first of all on just touching your upper eyelid, and then apply the second line just above it, like I have done. I hope you are able to make out from this video and then I have just flicked those lines out in the same direction and that is what I am going to do on the second eye oh my god another eye there are no not more than two eyes so yeah that is what I am going to do on the second eye on another eye as well flicking them out making the second line and yes this takes a bit of a time but it is oh, so much worth it because you can do this on a date night and I think it will look pretty cool and good. And this is how the disconnected eyeliner number 2 looks like. I am taking this like my iconic kajal and now I am just applying this very generously on my lower eyelid and then on my upper eyelid as well. Basically, all that you need to do is, it's not necessary that you need to wing it out like I have done. You can apply it the normal, usual way, just leaving a little bit of a gap on your lower eyelid or your upper eyelid like I have done. And this is pretty much it. This is the easiest and one that you can do on the go. I have taken this liquid eyeliner by Oriflame and uh, for this look, I am just lining uh, my upper eyelids very nicely so i've done them on both the sides and then i've drawn these uh, triangles that are really disconnected that are pretty much disconnected you can see right these are disconnected and uh, then you just need to make triangles flicking them out this uh when your eyes are open looks pretty much like the winged eyeliner but looks uh, so much different than as well like you can see it looks so much bold and dramatic i so love this look let me know in the comments if you love this too and this is how it looks. Again the Kajal Ki Dibbi and my eyeliner wand. You can also use a brush instead of this. Let me mention, I forgot to mention that. I have used this wand but you can use a brush as well. So I am just applying the Kajal on my upper eyelid and doing it, repeating the same thing on the other eye as well. 
and then on my lower eyelid the waterline I am applying it a bit and then after this what I'm going to do is just flick it out a very thin line and flicking it out keeping in mind that it has to be apart it is not we don't need to connect it with the upper eyelid scarges so that is what I have done and this is how it looks Yes people, this was it for today's video. I am on Instagram and Facebook as well. So you can follow me there, we can chat and be friends. So let's connect. I'll link both of them for you in the description box below. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel.